Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com. Back in the West Parlor at Gray Manor. Pipe check, still smoking my 7LA320 Series 3, 9mm filtered pipe. This video could probably have a tendency to get long, so I'm going to try to, to muscle through it. You'll notice I've got some things, some tens missing back here that have been up there in recent videos. I've got them down here in front of me. We're going to go through them. So uh, when Peterson blends left the market, and hopefully they'll be coming back and I'll be carrying them in the future, but when they left the market, it left a hole on my website. Uh, so at that point, when you go under tobaccos, I only had five uh, brands or five categories. And I wanted a sixth, big sixth because that tends to look the best on the site for me. Um, on the desktop version, you have two rows of three, and on the mobile version, you have three rows of two, and it looks nice and symmetrical. I didn't like just having five. Um, so I looked for, um, I've got some notes down here, but I looked for a smaller batch, lesser known uh, line of tobaccos to carry. You know, Cornell and Deal, I'm currently carrying about four, uh, 40 or 50 blends from Cornell and Deal. I didn't want it to be that much. And I've always heard about Captain Earl's blends, but I'd never tried any before. They only have eight blends, and so I ordered a sample of each to try them out. And I was just flabbergasted at how much I enjoyed every single one of those blends. I, you know, that that's pretty rare that that happens, e even in the Peterson line. There's some that don't really strike my fancy. And then there's some that I absolutely love. But here in the Captain Earl's blends, I really like all eight of these blends. They, they all have something unique that they bring to the table. Maybe with the exception of one, but that's probably personal preference. There hasn't been a lot of fanfare in the YTPC about Captain Earl's blends, so I kind of wanted to bring that to the forefront. This is such a fantastic line, you guys. I really wanted to uh, showcase them on the pipe note. Now, they are produced these days by Cornell and Deal, but they got their start with a very small company uh, called Hermit Tobacco Works, and you can still see that if you read through the side of the tin. Without making this video super long, um, go back to my website. To, I wrote a blog uh, about these blends that you can see. I actually just sent out a uh, email about it as well. But um, in this video, we're just going to go over the entire line, <coughs> excuse me, and see what the differences are between these blends. So some items of note, seven of these eight blends have at least some amount of Latakia. Now that might scare some people off that aren't Latakia fans, but stick with me because at least half of these I would recommend you try. One of them has no Latakia, so definitely try that one. Um, personally, you know, as someone who doesn't normally smoke a lot of Latakia blends, It's just incredible how, how this line has grabbed my attention. Um, now, my favorite may still be the one that doesn't have Latakia in it, but these other blends are still fantastic. So, let's get to it. I think there's someone for something for everyone here in this series. The main thing I think about this series is that every single blend contains some level of orientals. So that is the, the thread through this entire blend is orientals. And the interplay of those orientals between the other components. 
Um, this is pretty notable because I haven't carried a lot of Oriental Forward blends or Oriental blends. I have some, but definitely there's no other series I know of or no other brand I know of that has Orientals in every single blend. So this line makes up for that in spades. Another thing of note is that no Burley is listed in any of these blends at all. So, um, you know, Virginia's primarily um, and the Orientals and then other things interspersed uh, depending on the blend. Of course, you're going to have Perique, which starts out as Burley. Um, I think Latakia starts out as Burley. Maybe not. Maybe it starts out as Orientals. So I opened up all eight of my sample tins on the same day, and I've been smoking through them. And I I spent a, a weekend really, com you know, that's all I smoked was these blends and just comparing and com contrasting to come up with some personal notes for science. And I just kept putting my nose in the different tins and. Oh, this one has more Latakia. Oh, this one has more Perique, you know. And uh, then I would cross-check that, you know, fact-check it on the internet. It was a lot of fun. So, something else unique to this line is that every single one of these blends is a crumble cake. It's not a plug, so you don't have to cut it. Um, it's, it's not a, you know, a flake. It doesn't break, break off in chunks. It is a ribbon cut that's been pressed into a crumble cake. And not just one or two, every single one of these blends, which I think is fantastic. Um, I really like the crumble cake format with a ribbon cut. And another thing of note about these blends is they don't have any detectable topping or casing. These are very kind of like the the McBaron HH series. It pretty much as natural as you can get on the market today. And in the McBaron line, you know, the HH series is where it's at as far as the natural blends. You get into the other McBaron stuff, and it's going to have more noticeable toppings and casings. But here, no detectable toppings or casings in all eight of these blends. So what I did was I rated them from one to eight according to the Latakia content. Now, I may be wrong on a, on a couple of placements of these, but I would put money that I'm pretty close within one or two places from one to eight in my ranking here. It's kind of tricky because when you get into the medium strength Latakia blends, uh, it's hard to say sometimes. It really just depends on what how the Latakia works with the other components. But we'll start with number one. Captain Earl's Honor Blend. Now this is the one that has no Latakia in the blend at all. It is Virginia Orientals, Cavendish, and Perique. So you know, I like Orientals and I like Perique. This is going to be uh, right up my alley. I will show you, well I can't show you here, because I've dug into it a little bit. But here's the crumble cake, and you can see I can just tear off a little bit, and it just crumbles right up, crumbles right up, super easy to deal with, super easy to load. 
Now the ribbon cut is not a long ribbon cut, which makes it easier to crumble up the cake. Let's see what my notes are on this Honor Blend. So it's the only one without Latakia. The Virginias play a bit higher role than most of these. Um, and the Perique Cavendish and Orientals are really the stars here. It makes for a sweet, sour, and slightly spicy blend. Very cool blend, and my personal favorite. All right, so with the introduction of Latakia, this is number two in Latakia strength, really number one in Latakia strength, and that would be Captain Earl's Reflections. Now this is a very light Latakia blend. It has Virginia's Orientals, Black Cavendish, and Latakia. So if you're someone who mm, hasn't tried Latakia before or don't typically like stronger Latakia blends, Reflections is a good starting point here. The Latakia is very much in a condimental role. It is a sweet blend, naturally occurring sweet blend from the Virginias with a tang from the Orientals and just a bit of creaminess added from that addition of Latakia. Very good blend. Next up, and I would still consider this a light English blend, but this is number three in Latakia strength. Actually, number two. I won't say that every time, but you get what I'm, get, what I'm going with. This is Captain Earl's Mystic Blend. Now, it has Virginia's Orientals, Perique, and Latakia. Still sticking with that Perique. Um, well, actually, Perique wasn't in Reflections. But it was in the Honor Blend. Adding that Perique back and having just a bit more of a lot of Kia than the Reflections blend. Still a light English blend. Still a crumble cake. Crumble cake. I just think it's great that these are all crumble cakes. So I would still consider this a Virginia based blend, but definitely an English style, uh, both sweet and tangy and rounded out by the addition of that Perique. Really like this blend too. Those are probably my three favorites in the line. And then uh, we move into the deeper waters of Latakia. So this is the fourth, number four in Latakia strength. Night Watch. So Night Watch is one of three that I would consider a medium English blend. We're, we're in the weeds with the lot of Kia here. Um, it's, it's not overpowering, but this has Virginia, Orientals, Perique, and lot of Kia. No Cavendish is listed. Uh, different sites have different, there are some discrepancies between what's included in the blend and what's not. But from what I can tell, there's no um, Cavendish in here. The Latakia seems pretty on par with the Virginias. Um, still with those unique uh, tastes of... Uh, sweet and sour from the Orientals and the Perique. So that is number number four. Number five is another medium English blend. This is the second of what I would call a medium Eng English blend. This is private stock. Now the private stock also has the same 
components as Night Watch. It has Virginia's, Orientals, Perique, and Latakia. I imagine there's a bit more Latakia than Night Watch in the private stock. But Private Stock and Night Watch are probably the two most similar blends. And they're both medium Englishes, same components. But I would say this one has a bit more Latakia. Um, number six is Diamond Head. Now Diamond Head is the third of what I consider to be medium Latakia blends. And from what I can tell, they took out the Perique in this blend. So it's just Latakia, Orientals, and Virginias. So, you know, if you were kind of interested in the Night Watch and the private stock, but you're not really a fan of Perique, Diamond Head is the one for you. Now, this is the one that's personally my least favorite. Um, not because there's anything wrong with it. I just, as I'm smoking it, I wish there was Perique in it. But that's because I'm a Perique fan. If you're not, this is the one for you if you want a medium Latakia strength. All right. Now we're moving in to the deep, deep waters. <laughs> so, uh, number seven is Captain Earl's Stimulus Package. Definitely a heavy English. It has the same components as Diamond Head, but just more Latakia to my palate. Just Latakia Orientals and Virginias. Stimulus package is Latakia heavy, but not overly so. Um, a more basic Latakia blend than we've seen before so far in the series. Um, but the Orientals still strike a balance between the Latakias and the Virginias. I'm getting down finally to the end of this bowl. So number eight, the Latakia bomb, the definite Latakia bomb in the series. This is Captain Earl's 10 Russians. Now, if you want a pop in the mouth of Latakia, that's what this is. Still not pirate cake, but um, definitely a heavy Latakia blend. I'd put it up there with like uh, Boswell's Northwoods. Still, just Latakia, Orientals, and Virginias. The Perique is long gone. The Black Cavendish is long gone. Definitely Latakia is the star of the show here. Um, what else do I got about this? It is similar to Stimulus Package, uh, but um, more robust when it comes to that Latakia. It's a powerhouse, but still not a lot. Well... I would say it's a lot of Kia bomb, to be honest with you, um, but it, it's not going to really, it's not going to th throw you back on your heels. It's still a well-balanced blend, and that's what I love about all eight of these, is every single blend is well-balanced for what it represents. Um, and as such, it is so hard to recommend um, one, two, or even three of these blends. I, I like every single one of these blends, um, with the possible exception of, I, I will give the caveat that the Diamond Head is my least favorite, because in those, those medium strength Latakia blends, I just wish there was Perique in it, but that's what the other, uh, two medium strength blends are for. But I would say start with what your interests are, what your personal interests are or have historically been, and pick two or three 
out of this series to start with. You might wind up getting one of each just to try them all. But I would start with two or three at least to get a feel for the series and what it's all about. I've had a lot of fun smoking all of them. But so here's some recommendations. If you don't typically like Latakia blends, or you prefer lighter Latakia blends, go with the Honor Blend, Reflections, and Mystic Blend. And that for me is what I, that's what I consider the sweet spot uh, for my personal tastes. If you like medium bodied Latakia blends, go with Night Watch, Private Stock, and Diamond Head. Uh, but if you like stronger Latakia blends, um, go with Diamond Head, Stimulus Package, and 10 Russians. And if you're new, if you're newer to all this, this whole, you know, trying different tobaccos, and you really still haven't figured out what you typically like, might I suggest you try the Honor Blend, which has no Latakia, the Mystic Blend, which is a light Latakia, the Private Stock, which is a medium Latakia blend, and then the Stimulus Package, which is the heaviest Latakia. Uh, no, it's not. It's the next heaviest Latakia. So I've got all eight of these blends now available at the Pipe Nook. I just ordered five to begin with, and before I could even make this video or write a blog or send out an email, I started selling them. Uh, so, you know, word has gotten out already. Uh, so I've already reordered. I've got, you know, I started, you know, I went from ordering the first five of each to then I started ordering ten of each. Now I'm up to where I'm ordering 15 of each, and that'll probably go on for the foreseeable future. Try to keep them all in stock. Well, I think that's it, and like I imagined, this became a fairly long video, um, so we will leave it at that. I love this series, you guys really really something special in the marketplace uh, for many different reasons um, yeah but we'll leave it at that glad y'all got to see me and we'll chat with you later